Emmer. Look at these old newspaper clippings. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's stale on white walls. Huh. No, below that. There's an article on Bob Kinney. Apparently, he filed for bankruptcy over a year ago and had gambling debts of upwards of a million dollars. State records show that they were paid off six months ago. A million dollar prize and a million dollar gambling debt. Now, that could explain why no one has gotten to the million dollar level, because he will not let them. There's no money to win. So he puts on people with the IQ of cotton. Yeah, well, what about Mel Jordan? Mel Jordan took him by surprise. You see, he looks dumb. But he turned out to be a genius. A trick I've used myself. I think I'm going to go down and have a little talk with Bob Kinney about his choice of contestants. What do you want from me now? I've told you all I know about that Jordan guy. Will you stop harassing me? I'm a very busy man. Yes, Bob is a very busy man. Hey, I'm not. I'm not harassing you. If I were harassing you, you would know it. <laughs> Listen, I love your show. I tape your show. And I want to be on it. Are you kidding? Is he kidding, Bob? What are you, a ventriloquist dummy? No, but I filled in for one once. David, please, get me some coffee. Look, uh, Inspector, uh, you're just not the type for television. Well, what do you mean? Me and my gun are billed as regulars on the local news. Look, why don't you just leave? Shut up, David. Sure, Bob. Why don't we give the Inspector a chance? Uh, a lot of questions by him. Great idea, Bob. I'm game. All right, Mr. Hammer. What is the title of the Academy Award-winning film about a peace-loving man who united India? Rambo. <laughs> I love it. A cop with a sense of humor. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to love promoting you on the air. You're on the show. Great. You're kidding. Well, great. Terrific. Oh, I look forward to it. Maybe I can put you through bankruptcy <laughs> again. Bob, why are you putting him on? That guy's as dopey as all the others. I'll humiliate him on local TV. That'll deprive him of all credibility. So if he tries to charge us with something, it'll make him look like a sore loser. Brilliant, Bob, but I'm scared. Look, you work for me. I'll kill you when you're scared. You wanted to work in TV, didn't you? Yes, but I killed a man for you. That's part of working in TV. You know how many people would kill you for your job? Bob, okay. Can I get you some fresh coffee? No. Coffee making days are over. Make me a coffee cake. Hammer, you're going on that game show? Look, it's the only way that I can prove that Kenny can't pay the grand prize. I'm going all the way. A million dollars. Yeah, but why did they let you on in the first place? Kenny thinks I'm not the brightest guy in the world. Spurge, did it ever occur to you that you're not the brightest guy in the world? That's why you're going to help me. I know a great reference library. I'll get an ear radio from the SWAT team, and you feed me the answers. I can't lose. Well, that's cheating. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. And now, let's give a big welcome to your host of the Million Dollar Quiz, Bob Kenny. Thank you. Thank you very much for that warm reception. Welcome. What's All right, Hammer. I'm sad. Joan, welcome back. Nice to see you. We need a challenger for you, and who might that be? Bob, our next contestant is a police officer whose hobbies are police work. Please welcome Inspector Sledgehammer. Sledge, welcome to Million Dollar Question. Now remember, Sledge, you are the challenger. That means you'll begin. But before that, let's meet our prize lady, the lovely Inga. Sledge, as you can see, we have five categories. Here they are, faces and places, food for thought, the good book, famous berries, and grab bags. Pick a category. Grab bag. <laughs> Tough category, my friend. Potpourri of very hard questions. Thank you, Inga. Now, uh, remember, Sledge, very important. You control the board as long as you answer correctly. Incorrect, Joan takes over. Here is your first question, and listen carefully. What is the name of the artist whose famous painting depicts a beautiful woman standing in a clamshell? Art. Correct. 
What is the lowest temperature ever recorded in the continental United States? Hold on, Hammer. It's, uh, uh... Minus 70 degrees. He was the only president without a first lady. Hold on, Hammer, I'm looking. It was, uh, uh, Tim. Buchanan. That's right. What medieval hero fought the monster Grendel? Beowulf. Who's buried in Grant's tomb? Grant and his wife. How many men on the hockey team? Six. What is the capital of Upper Volta? Ouagadougou. Parsec. Green. Pulsar. David Mamet. A tie. Where will you find the famous Spanish steps? Whoa! Whoa! Right again! You're one tough cop. I've, I've got my car parked out in the red zone. You want to give me a ticket? No. I'm going to blow you away. <laughs> no sledge. The siren means that you've answered 26 questions in a row. That gives you the right to go for $1 million on today's show. You know, nobody's ever gone this far before. I know. It's a crime. Well, let's find out if you're a real cop or if you're going to cop out. Thank you, Mr. I'm going to go for it. Okay. We'll be back with Sledgehammer's final question in just a moment. Don't go away. The cop is a super genius. We can't afford to pay him if he wins. You flaming fool. No wonder you're still with your mother. Hammer's not going to win. There's going to be another accident. Another accident after the show. After the show? During the show. You see that big spotlight right over his head? That's going to fall and kill him right on the air. We'll have millions of witnesses and the ratings will go right to the roof. You can't do that. I know that. You're going to do it. Got to kill again? Please, just this once. I'll do you a favor. I'll take him in here at your golfing. All right, I'll kill him. Now, one more thing. I know. Get your coffee. No, you spineless freak. Get me an espresso. Welcome back to the show. Well, Fledge, if you answer this question correctly, you win a cool million dollars. Incorrect? Time for that now. Good luck. Has anyone seen the hammer today? Yay, it's on a game show. All right. Here is your question. Elmer Keith is known as the father of what? You have ten seconds.
this is a great show for kids. Your host is arrested for the murder of Mel Jordan, and you heard it here first on KPSC News.